Here we have a limit and there's an absolute value. So we have to get rid of the absolute value. So that's really all about that. Um, when you're taking limits, the first thing you should always try to do is plug in the number. So you see right away here, if you, pull, if you plug in two, you get zero. Here you also get zero, you get zero over zero, so it's totally undefined, so that won't work. So step one is to get rid of the absolute value. So recall that the absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to zero, and minus x if x is less than zero. That's the definition of absolute value as a piecewise function, okay? So in this case, we don't have x, we have the absolute value of x minus two. So the absolute value of x minus two, well, what is that? Well, let's think about this. What is x minus two in this case? Here, x is approaching two from the left, right? So x here is approaching two from the left. Okay, so we draw a little number line. Here's two, let's see, left, right. Okay, so we're here, so here's x. So x is approaching two from the left. That means that x is less than two. So if you subtract two to make it match this, you get x minus two less than zero. So x minus two is less than zero, right? Again, think about which way you're approaching from. If you approach from the left, you're here, so x is less than two, so x is less than two. Subtracting two, you get x minus two less than zero. If you were approaching from the right, it would be very similar, except it would be greater than zero. So it's less than zero. So now you just apply this formula. This is your x, right? This is your x. x minus two is less than zero. So whenever x is less than zero, you get negative x. So here we're going to get not negative x, but negative x minus two, right? because that's our x, right? A couple different ways to go through this, but this is probably the shortest way. So again, our x here is x minus two. It's less than zero, so you just plug in x minus two here, plug in x minus two here. All right, so this is equal to that. So now the limit is equal to the limit. As x approaches two from the left, and this whole top piece can now be replaced with minus parentheses x minus 2. This is minus parentheses x minus 2. On the bottom, we still have x minus 2. These cancel, right? So you just get a limit as x approaches 2 from the left of negative 1. And well, what happens to negative 1 when x approaches 2 from the left? Nothing. It's still negative 1. So that's equal to negative 1. I hope that made sense.